Hello and welcome back to my English Victoria 2 Ultimate Model Let's Play. Last episode, as you should be able to tell, we wiped out Scotland, um, and this gives us a very important decision. We've also started to colonise Texas, because it's mostly empty and open to be taken. We've got quite a bit of colonial power, but we can't, I haven't found anywhere where we can use it quite yet. Uh, the life rating is too high. Northern Canada, so it's too cold probably. Um, so I'll probably just take these empty spaces there. Uh, what I'm going to do straight away then is um, do the important decision. Look what we can do. Form the United Kingdom. Being in control of Great Britain, we can now unite this island. So it gives us 21 prestige. Country changes to United Kingdom. British, Scottish and Welsh are all accepted cultures. Uh, look at that. British Empire? Holy shit. Why is it called the British Empire, not just the United Kingdom? Well, I like the colour change anyway. It's much nicer. Uh, much more hats of iron free. Free E, if that's even the word. We can also enact some more... more uh, repeal the Corn Laws. Oh, this is interesting. Because this didn't actually happen until 1816, I believe. Um, and it was because... Yeah, basically tariffs on foreign corn. Especially from, like, the Mediterranean. So basically, obviously, when people were around the, in eight, the 1800s, it was very, very poor. Uh, everyone was not very well off, apart from, like, obviously the aristocrats and factory owners and stuff like that. And... Um, the uh, the the uh, ugh, I can't even speak. The population, the poor population, used to buy foreign crops to eat and make bread and stuff like that. Uh, and the British government like got complaints from British farmers because obviously British goods was too expensive, so that's why people weren't buying it. Uh, so they just imposed shit, very high tariffs on foreign imports, so people had to buy British. Uh, and obviously that made people even poorer. I learned about that. We learn about it now because we learn about Victorian uh, Britain. So it's obviously very early to actually do this, but uh, yeah. So maximum tariffs go down, population militancy goes down for some reason. Uh, yeah, we will do that. There we go. Repeal the Corn Laws. Um, restore the Arcadia. Oh, look at this British Federation by granting all our white colonies the same rights and privileges as us. British Commonwealth creating the organ. This organization will keep. Let's keep ties with our former colonies. So what do you need for that? Have invented globalization. One of the following must be true: have democracy. Or oh, right. We can release England as a nation. What the fuck? <laughs> Don't want to do that. Um, yeah. So there we go. We've created the UK, which is a good step forward. That means I need to change my goddamn thumbnails, though, which is a bit of a pain in the ass, but still. There we go. So this it will not be the English Let's Play. It will be the United Kingdom, the British Let's Play. Um, and we can enact some more laws, but, but I'm not going to really do that because the movements aren't exactly... There's no big movements that are demanding law change, so... I'm not going to do that. I'm going to try and stop changes in the law if I can help it. Where have the rebels gone? I don't know where they've gone. Um, and I like the idea that they've gone. So let's embark to Malta Channel. Now we did actually gain quite a big prestige bonus there. So that's good. Um... Yes, whatever, uh, lose a thousand of rather. Let's take back Malta from the bloody rebels. I don't know where they went, I'm guessing they're just diminished. But even so, bloody pirates, I tell ya. Good lord, oh, for God's sake, the Catholics are gonna rebel again. Right, get yourself back to Britain. Lancashire. What's this? Grievous insults. A group of British citizens who left the British Empire some time ago on an expedition to Morocco have been viciously refused to enter. What's this? 
Yeah, we'll do that. I don't really care. I'm never going to actually go to war with these countries just because of them. Rebel factions are organising our country. Scottish Liberation Movement. Goodbye, Alex Salmond. <laughs> um, we're getting quite a lot of population as well, so that's all good. 26 million total population. Exact. We're not building any factories and we're actually losing quite a lot of factories, which isn't very nice. The Whig part is in now. Colonial dispute, what's this? In the Russian Empire. I don't want to go to war with Russia, to be quite honest. Uh, the Norwegian nationalists have died down anyway, so... It's the end of that. Let's check... When's that, when can we research the next thing? 1815, are you serious? 1700... 1800, 1750. We've got a long time to wait, guys, I'll tell you that. I don't know how people do Victoria 2 Let's Plays on the Ultimate Mod anyway, because it must actually take forever. They must, like, get into, like, 50 episodes long. There are no gods. Um, I don't want to be a religious nation. Yeah. We do need an alliance, desperately. Look at that, the British Empire. I love seeing that, I don't know why. Um, fucking hell, look at France now. They are storming ahead. It's mainly the prestige. I'm taking the going to war quite often. Sea power and the merchant marine. Whatever that is. M M military industrial complex. Traditional academia. Right. Well, the elections have started. The soldiers need better food. They definitely do. Suffrage movement again is broken out for crying out loud. I'm not gonna release any nations. Give them residency. Um Right, so our soldiers should be getting Yeah they are. This pop has five hundred and twenty one people and can support zero brigades. Oh, Right. So yeah, that's why. It's because the, there's not enough people to actually support the, the brigades. What's this? For the backing of Greece. Uh, no thanks. Poland's back to them. I'll join whichever side France joins. <laughs> well, I'm missing a faggot on this game. Oh shit, yeah, I forgot about Texas. It's a good job that came up, actually. There we go. British Texas, well, yeah, British Texas. Now we'll get this place, whatever that is, some, somewhere in Louisiana. Can't yet colonise that. We may go to war with one of these nations soon. Probably not New England, because they are actually a dominion of uh, France. So I wouldn't really advise going to war with them. Can't annex any of that. Can't make any of that. Oh dear. Well, we'll have to just wait a bit. Is there any islands we can have? Oh shit, I forgot we've got these. Let's expand our naval bases here. And forts and stuff. Because um, cause having just little islands like this is actually quite handy. Because obviously, if your navy is like suffering from attrition, it's always nice to be able to um, dock off somewhere. Applicants Islands owned by Spain. Um, anyhow, then, let's keep an eye on this. Yeah, France has backed them, which is perfectly acceptable. Quest for the liberation of Greece. I mean, realistically, I do actually want Greece to be liberated because I want the Ottomans to have less power because then it means that there's going to be less of competition in good old Africa. Um, so, if, say, like, Austria, Russia, and Spain joined Poland, Lithuania, I'd help them out. If they don't, though, ah, oh, God. Uh, fucking hell, 97% the vote. Yeah, uh, <laughs> sorry, Poland. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, Spain's joined them. Why would they do that? Seriously. Oh, God. Spain, if 
this breaks out into war, you are, sorry about that, you are not in a very good way, yeah. Oh shit! Oh, they acquired this bit of land, so, Poland, that, that was a bad idea, back in Greece. Oh, look at that, one little unit, that's great, thank you for that. Why are they not going to attack it? Come on, for God's sake, kill them. Yes, like that. Slaughter them, I say. I'll go back there. Um, right, is there anything else we can do? Not overly sure there is. Um, not with that amount of infamy, anyway. Ah, look at that. Arissa. Has actually invaded Gondwana. Let's have a, a, a little look at this war then. Ah, some. Oh, look. Bloody hell, it's like a big Indian war, isn't it? My saw. My sorry conquest of Mad. Madurajan. Sorry if I can't pronounce this. Travna, Travancore. Majawazan Travancore. I guess in. What is Majawazan? Is it. Majuri? Right, yeah, it is. Golconda's not involved, no. Yeah, so, uh, Mysore is wanting to conquest, is wanting to take over Majuri, I'm guessing. Majuri. So, yeah, that'll be interesting to see what happens in that. But, yeah, they've nearly done it as well 46%. Oh, 25%. Drop down. Yes, whatever. These conquest cast spells and stuff, I'm just gonna skip away. Look at that! 1 million... 1.26 million in the coffers. Um, mining efficiency plus 125% will do that. Sounds like a good idea to me. Yeah, it's a lot of passing of the time. Is there any other wars going on then? No. There isn't. Has that dropped down again or has it gone up? Ah, oh, no! They did it! Oh no, they didn't. What did they do? Oh, they didn't even do it, so... Well, that's the end of that. <laughs> um, we've got no rebellions or anything like that, which is great. Um, France hasn't actually expanded anywhere yet. We can create our protectorate here. Let's get this little place then. Look at France just fucking storming the whole of USA. So annoying. I really do want to take take command share command share here. We do actually have a we can liberate slaves so we can cut down to size. No, I don't want to do that. Oh shit! Oh, we don't need that because we've actually got taken out of Scotland, don't we? So we can just waltz into Northern Ireland through Scotland, which is good. All these notifications at the side, Jesus. See these? I've noticed these rebellions have. Decrease in size. More significantly. What's this? Humiliate Cassius Belly. I don't want to do that. I want to... Fucking hell. British White Army. What is this White Army bullshit? Oh, Liberals have dropped in... Um, in what have you. Um, is there... What am I looking for? Politics? Is there some sort of different movement? Voters rights, suffrage. Do they want universal vote? I might as well just give them the full vote, haven't I? There's not really much point in uh, doing otherwise. I mean, I don't know what weighted universal is. Everyone is allowed to vote, but the rich men's votes are worth more. <laughs> wow. Um, universal is everyone's allowed to vote, and it's all equal. So there we go. Egypt, sorry mate. I just Spain's backing them. I just can't. Oh fucking hell! Look at that minus. Yeah, we are interested. France has joined the Ottomans. Ah, it's all kicking off now. Might as well join the Ottomans. It'd be nice to see Egypt on this game though. Oh, Russia's joined Spain this time. 
which way will Pearl and go? They'll, yeah, they'll join that way. This is gonna be a big motherfucking war, guys. Um, holy motherfucking shit. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be quite big. And to be honest, I actually hope we lose. I should have, I should have joined that side now. Shit. Or the fans would just storm me, wouldn't they? Who's actually? Let's have a quick overview of our army. So we've got the Ottomans here. They have where are they? 59. And there's me on 40, France on 93, and the Russians on 177. So let's say that's like 300. Um, so that's 300 military power there. Over here then there's Bavaria, Spain, Russia. Oh no, shit! Russia's on their side, isn't it? I'm looking at the wrong people. I want to be looking at Austria. Austria's got, so yeah, 300 pretty well, actually. A bit less. 250, let's say. Whereas they've got... That's 175, let's say. Um, pull on a few in here. 300. Over 300. Uh, 400. 450 or something like that. Uh, and we've got 250. So they do massively beat us. We can increase our opinion of the Netherlands. It's nice. I think this is the most equal... Well saying that, as in the great powers, three on each side, I've ever seen, and I'm not liking it, <laughs> this is not going to go down well, uh, anyway, I shall end the episode late here, why have they not gone after them, oh shit, yeah, what, what, oh, did jury do that? Let's have a quick look then. Was I about right? 311, 500. Yeah, whatever. Shit. I'm hoping France can just. Well, I'm hoping that some countries will um will uh, motorize, mobilize, not motorize. At least we can actually. Bloody hell! Look at this. Get a good overview of all this, so don't we? No, uh, yes. Uh, I'm going to offer this. Who's going to give me the most support, realistically? We've got France on our side, which is good. But, because um, I'm actually going to offer financial support to a country. Now, the Russians are the, are the big bear. They could be a big bitch. Um, but I think that Austria is probably more so at the f forefront of it. Because they've got, like, Russia and Pearl coming through that way. So I'm going to offer them economic support. Although, it's only 47 each day, and we're getting 300 or not, so... I'm going to offer every country that I am with economic support. And that's probably going to make up for the fact that we have a shit army. And I'm not going to defend anything other than my homeland. Um, unless I have to... I'll send my navy out, because my navy's not too bad. And they can sort of deal with the Spanish one. So let's send it to the Gibraltar Strait. Um, has France mobilised? Yes, they have. Has Russia mobilised? Yes. 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 Right. Bavaria shouldn't really be a problem, really, should it? Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mobilise. I'm definitely going to mobilise now. Every other country has mobilised. So I think... Where do I do it? I've forgotten where I do it. Um... How have I forgotten where I do it? Shall it be in politics? Military? More likely, yes. <laughs> um, right. Right, so we'll mobilise. Dehydrated as well. Um, and I think I'll end the episode here, just as the war's about to kick off. Austria's actually taken the province already. Uh, so. Thanks for watching everyone, I hope you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next episode, goodbye.